We have a, a distributed leadership team. I mean, the top 13 people in the company, you know, they're, they're headquartered around the world. And I think that's one of General Motors' strengths is, unlike some other companies, we grew up as a collection, actually 100 years ago, when Billy Durant went around and bought a lot of companies and then put it together as General Motors. Um, so we have deep local knowledge and understanding in many of the markets that we compete. We are looking to say, where does it make sense for us to compete? Because uh, simply, you know, we can't be everywhere to everyone with every Thing. Uh, especially when you look at the auto industry and some of the restrictions, and every country is a little different from a safety standards, from an emission standards, from a uh, what you have to produce in country. And so, you know, we've really worked hard over the last you know five six years to say where do we have a sustainable path to win, and then you know following the values we have for the company and, and having strong leadership that conveys that through the company. That, that's that's really the way we look at it. And it, it's it's important. We have in in the company of two hundred twenty. Thousand people. We have the, uh, our senior leadership group is 300 people, and we get together twice a year to make sure we're aligned. But then we also are leveraging technology, telepresence, other things, and we're, we're connected much more often uh, to make sure if there's anything major that happens, we're going to get everybody on telepresence, or we're going to have a global town hall and talk to everyone uh, because you can't underestimate the power of, of communication and people understanding so they can be aligned.